Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is fourth part of our Notes app tutorial series and in the previous part we have added a node database and also we have created a node DAO class and also we have finished with our module class that is node so now I'll just close this all and in this part we are going to create a repository class and view module class and I will explain what a repository is and what view model is. So first of all hit on your package, right click and new java class. I will name this class as a node repository. And this class will not extend any other class. So what a repository is, uh, it's just a simple java class and it's, it's not included in architecture components library but it's considered to be best practice to use repository class because like uh, it provides an extra abstraction layer between the different data sources and rest of the app code and in this project we we just have one data source that is our sqlite database but in uh, most real apps you will uh, you will also want to fetch a data from a server or firebase and you will want to cache it locally to sqlite database and this means you will also need a way to communicate with these different data sources and to choose uh, when you want to fetch data from where and with what API calls and repository is a solution like it is a way to abstract all the data from different data sources and provide a clean API to view model so let me show you that diagram okay so this is our repository class it will get all the data from model uh, or room database or it can be a server or firebase so it will get the data from um, this different data sources and then it will pass that data to view model and then activity and fragment can get that data from view model okay so as the repository will provide a clean api to view model so the view model later doesn't have to care where the data comes from and how it is fetched so view model will just call the methods of the repository class directly so let's start with the code we'll just minimize this and first uh, we'll write some code in note repository class and then when, when we'll create view model class i will explain what view model class is so first of all we'll create a uh, member variables private note dao name it as node dao and then i will create one live data variable so live data and here we'll pass in the list of nodes of node and let's name it as a node list or it can be notes list okay then we need to create one constructor of this uh, node repository class where we'll assign this uh, two member variables a value so public node repository and here we'll pass the application context so application and then application so since application is a subclass of context so we can use it um, as a context yeah then we'll call a node database write node database equals to node database dot get instance and here we need to pass the context and that is application remember in the node database class we have created the instance of the class in the synchronized method and we use the get application context so we are passing the application here and that makes sense then we'll use our node DAO and this will be equals to node database dot node DAO so since we haven't uh, implemented this abstract method but we are calling it here directly so room takes care of it uh, room provides all the necessary code to implement this method and it has been automatically generated the code for this DAO interface okay so then we'll call our notes list and then we'll call our note DAO dot get all the notes so this is how this note list will get all the nodes from the database now we need to create few methods for our database operation so first will be public void insert data 
and here we'll pass in the note object so note note and then we have to perform some operation here but before that we'll create a rest of the method so public void delete data and here we'll pass in the note note and then for public void update data we'll pass in the note note object then public void delete all data similarly we'll pass in the sorry we don't have to pass anything here and then the last method for getting all the data so public live data I need to pass a list of note and then we can write get all data again we don't have to pass anything here since we already fetch the data in the notes list we can just return it over here so return one notes list yeah so we have defined this method but for this for method we have to create another thread and we have to perform this uh, database operation into other thread because you know room room doesn't allow database operations on the main thread so there are other ways to do this but in this video we will we'll use async task so just after this so we'll write private static class this will be insert async task and this will extend to async task this one and here we need to pass three parameters so first will be note and then we'll pass void and we are not returning anything so we'll pass void then we have to create one node dev member variable so private node and we'll write it as a node dev then we have to implement one method that is doing do in a background but before that we need to create constructor of this class because we have to make sure that this node DAO is equals to this node DAO. So just over here, we'll write public insert async task, and in here we'll pass node DAO. Node DAO. So this equals to node DAO first node down okay and in here we just have to call our node down method that is insert and here we need to pass this nodes at zero index okay so that's it this is a pretty much easy stuff now what we'll do we'll just copy this much of code and i'll paste it one time and instead of insert write delete and instead of this insert we'll write delete and instead of this insert method we'll call delete method again i'll paste it and instead of insert we'll write update in here as well so update and in here as well so update So now we have to create one more method, one more class for delete all. So we will write delete all. Again, delete all. And instead of insert, we'll write delete all, and that's it. So okay, uh, we don't need to pass a void node here, so we can pass void and instead of this okay we just delete this and press alt enter to implement method so it will pass the voids then we'll call node dow dot delete all and yeah that's it so now in the uh, in this methods what we'll do we'll write new insert async task 
and here we'll pass the node DAO. Then we have to write dot execute and then semicolon. So again, in this method, we have to write new delete async task. Similarly, pass node DAO dot execute semicolon and then new update async task as in the node DAO dot execute and then for the last one new delete all async task and we don't need to okay we need to pass node now and then dot execute okay so that's pretty much for our repository class so we have created some methods for database operations and then uh, we created some async task class to perform this db operation in the background thread because as i already mentioned room doesn't allow us to perform database operation in the main thread so yeah we are done with the node repository class and now we'll create a view model class but before let's take a look at this image so view model is a part of architecture components library and its work is to store and process the data for user interface and communicate with the model means our database and it requests a data from repository so the so view model requests data from the repository so the activity or fragment can draw it onto the screen and then the view model forwards a uh, user interaction from ui back to the repository means if user clicks on a button or he enters something so the view model will pass that back to the repository okay so that's the job of view model so yeah uh, let's let's create new class for view model so again hit on a package new java class and this time we'll write node view model and this time this class will extend to android view model this one and we have to press alt enter to implement a constructor okay this one and we need to delete all uh, this stuff okay fine now we need to create two member variables so private node repository we'll write node repository and then again we need to create one live data member variable so live data list of node and again we'll name it as a notes list okay so in here we have to assign the values so node repository equals to new repository sorry new node repository this one and here we need to pass in this context that is application and then node list equals to our node repository dot get all nodes or get all data okay then similarly we just have to create methods for insert update and delete so public void and we'll name it as a insert this time and we'll pass in the note note object then we just have to call our repository method that is insert data and we need to pass this note so yeah and then public void delete we pass note note and then note repository dot delete data this one and we need to pass the note then for update so public void update note 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 repository dot update data and note okay then for the delete all so public void delete all write note note and then note repository dot delete all actually we don't need to pass uh, this note note so we'll just delete this okay and then the last one so public live data it has in the list of note get all notes or all data we'll just uh, return the note list okay 
So as we already uh, assigned the value to note list, so that's pretty much. In the next part, we'll continue from this and we'll start to fetch and add data into our database. So yeah, that's it. Do subscribe and thank you for watching.